I'm Barry, and today we're gonna to install these new bumpers and a 10,000 pound winch on this truck. These rock solid DZ K-Series bumpers are built like armor. Their solid one piece steel construction offers some serious strength and they're made right here in the good old US of A. As you can see, the folks at DZ have gone the extra mile to make sure that your product gets to you in great shape using extra dense foam padding and these bolts to lock it securely in place on the pallet. The first step in getting this sweet new bumper on is getting the old bumper off. Let's get to work. If your truck is equipped with sensors, you want to take care when you're removing them, not to mess up the connections or the clips so that you can use them in the new bumper. Now that we've got the stock bumper off, let's put on the DZ K-Series bumper. In the box you'll find a K-Series front bumper, universal tow hook light bar bracket, front bumper bracket, bolt-on bracket, driver side and passenger side corner braces, winch opening cover, mesh screens, and included hardware. Our first step is going to be to replace the old bumper brackets with the new DZ bumper brackets using our original hardware. We're installing a Traveler 10,000 pound winch on this project and we'll be using a wireless remote control with that. But to get it on there, we're gonna be using our DZ winch plate kit instead of the light bar bracket that came with our K-Series bumper. Now the winch plate kit is pretty substantial. You're gonna need help. What we're gonna have to do is we're gonna hold this bracket up to your front bumper brackets and we're gonna install it using hardware that came with your K-Series bumper. So now we're ready to mount the winch, but first, since we're using a wireless remote control, we need to mount the ground wire of the wireless to the ground wire of the winch. The next step in this winch install is to mount what's called the fair lead to the front of the winch tray. Then we can go ahead and drop the winch inside. We're almost ready to install our bumper, but first I wanted to show you this. This is the corner bracket. It actually attaches your frame of your truck to the corner of your bumper. We don't have it on yet because it's easier to install this after the bumper is in place. The next part of the process involves taking the bumper and putting it on the truck. You're gonna need at least two extra people with you as we're gonna guide the bolt-on brackets into the slots on the winch plate. Quick tractor tip for you. We have a bolt-on bracket that is loose. It's gonna go inside the bumper. Once we've got it in there, we're gonna take a zip tie and we're gonna hold it in place while we're mounting the bumper. When you get the bumper up here and the bolt bracket is going into the winch plate, you wanna snug up a couple of bolts. Then you can cut the zip ties. Go ahead and snug up the rest of your bolts. Keep it loose because we have left and right, up and down adjustments built into this bumper. Then we wanna attach our corner brackets, keep them loose. We wanna then adjust the whole assembly and then once we've got it right, we're gonna tighten it all up. We've finished with the front bumper, now we're moving to the rear of the vehicle where we're gonna install the DZ K-Series rear bumper. It comes with two brackets. These are bumper brackets. They attach to either side of the frame with three bolts a piece. Now, this is the hardest part of it. We wanna make sure that we get both these brackets level once they're level, the hard part's over and that bumper's gonna slide right on. Okay, we've got our project complete. We've got the DZ K-Series front and rear bumpers on the vehicle. We've got a 10,000 pound traveler winch in the front. That's gonna get us out of anything and it might help you someday. And since we went with the matte black finish on the front and back, we decided to tie it all together with the DZ running boards. Now, this project was easy for us to do and if you want to do something like this for your truck, you can do it. And you can find all those parts at tractorsupply.com. 